Hey guys, today I'm excited to bring you a uh, possibly breakthrough company in the psychedelic arena. Now, this company focuses on treating addiction. Um, addiction uh, historically has not had a very good track record of success or the treatment of addiction, right? Um, so this company is using a molecule called DMT to try and uh, change the way addiction is treated. So let's take a look at them, okay? And that's called Entheon Biomedical, a new dimension in addiction treatment. Now, Entheon is in a unique position to challenge the narrative and expectations around addiction recovery. So what they're doing is they're leveraging emerging biotech pioneering a leading-edge addiction recovery solution that harnesses the therapeutic potential of patient-centric psychedelic medicine to remedy the underlying causes of substance abuse order, disorder. Uh, so they're going to the root cause in your brain. Um, they're trying to target that and change uh, essentially the receptors of how you uh, become addicted, right? Um, so they're focusing primarily on the powerful DMT molecule. Uh, Entheon exists to invert the addiction recovery ratio, turning the untreatable case and lost cause from the norm to the exception. So their focus is on addiction, right? And we got to look at how big this has become and it's growing uh, every year, right? Currently, there's 35 million people suffering from drug dependence globally. 166,000 overdose-related fatalities reported annually. That's a huge number, 166,000 people dying uh, from addictions. And $16 trillion dollars projected global cost of mental disorders, including addiction, by 2030. Addiction is an unforgiving disorder that destroys countless lives and tears apart families in nearly every corner of the globe. Long established substance abuse uh, disorder treatments manage to help a low percentage of sufferers overcome or suppress their addictions but lack long-term efficacy serving as coping mechanisms rather than addressing the underlying neurological and emotional causes. There is a massive urgent need for innovation in the way substance abuse disorder is treated. And I think uh, the fact that you have more and more uh, addicted people, you know, growing every single year, I think uh, companies like this that are looking at alternatives to treatment um, are definitely uh, going to be the way of the future because what because uh, it's obvious what has uh, what have we been doing in the past isn't working so creating improved personal recovery journeys and outcomes and giving those living with addiction a greater probability of reclaiming their lives and potential is both a human and economic imperative. So what is DMT? Well, DMT is well tolerated with few adverse effects. Pure DMT is the ideal molecule for advancing and sustaining new models of psychedelic assisted therapy. DMT has a robust and well demonstrated capacity to affect neuronal activity and promote brain plasticity when administered in the optimum set and setting, providing valuable insights healthier reorientation to the past, and the ability to remedy the underlying neuro neurological and emotional mechanisms of addiction. Utilizing the powerful DMT molecule, Entheon will lead patients through an assisted therapeutic experience, allowing patients to erase problematic neural pathways fueling addiction and mental illness and facilitate the creation of new pathways to recovery. So why are they using DMT? Well, it's a unique among hallucinogenins in that it is 
It appears in the human body and has been clinically validated as being safe for human consumption. While other psychedelics produce intense effects that last up to 12 hours, DMT is rapidly metabolized by the body, meaning the intensity of its effects and duration of the experience can be easily adjusted, allowing for a shorter, more focused therapeutic window. So they can, you know, really, you know, there's some other psychedelics that last long, long times, right? So DMT, they can control um, how much, how much of effect it has on you. So that's, that's a really nice thing. So it's been used therapeutically for hundreds of years. It's been scientifically studied from at least the 1950s, present throughout the plant kingdom, safe in humans, and it's short acting. So Entheon has already established quite a few partnerships that are key uh, to move this forward. And quite a few of them we'll talk about here. Halogen Life Sciences, Inc., a wholly owned subsidiary of Entheon. Uh, They are a biotech company that has developed a pre-screening test to identify genetic markers predictive of an individual's reaction to uh, the DMT. Next up, we have Cygen. Cygen is a manufacturer of pharmaceutical grade psychedelic drug products for clinical research and therapeutic applications, including psilocybin, MDMA, DMT, LSD, 2CB, and mescaline. CHDR, the Center for Human Drug Research, is an independent institute that specializes in cutting-edge, early-stage clinical drug research. So definitely uh, getting some some nice partnerships here to uh, ensure safety. Science in Action. Based out of uh, Israel, Science in Action is a preclinical contract research organization founded in 2010 by uh, Im- immunologist Rainin Margalit. And uh, they have toxicology studies in multiple areas with extensive experience in tailor made preclinical research in in vivo and in vitro models. Heading Health. Founded in Austin, Texas, Heading Health provides a full suite of therapies and diagnostic tools, including uh, nasal spray, uh, ketamine, designed to target depression, anxiety, PTSD, and OCD. Uh, The Heading Health management team is experienced in operating and scaling psychiatric clinics across multiple states, securing insurance coverage, and pioneering the most efficient and effective Breakthroughs in Clinical Research and Technologies. Next, we have Divergence Neuro, a Toronto-based company focused on the research and development of a data-driven, cloud-based neuro platform based on EEG analysis and machine learning to improve mental health for all. Really good stuff. And then the Offichem Group, For over 40 years, they have been working to improve health for humans and animals by providing high-quality, active pharmaceutical ingredients. So, uh, Entheon announces the DMT drug supply agreement with Offichem. So, on October 27th, uh, Entheon Biomedical provided some updates in a news release, and uh, they are pleased to announce that its observational study assessing the neuro neuropsychological effects of ketamine is progressing as planned. In partnership with Heading Health, the clinical trial will use EEG and genetic screening to investigate biomarkers associated with ketamine treatment for major depressive disorder. Study results will further advance Entheon's biomarker program for characterizing various drug states and mental health disorders. Now this was an interesting one. And I like this approach. So an agreement has been signed with WavePass, a company that collaborates with world-class artists to develop adaptive music for use during psychedelic therapy. So they're thinking about the patients and their complete um, treatment, right? So if they go in for treatment, um, they're really thinking about the complete experience of the patient. And that's really nice. 
So a preclinical update. Uh, Entheon confirms that DMT drug material from Cygen Labs has been shipped to Entheon's Israel Preclinical Research Partners, Science in Action, and Pharmacy Limited. This material will be used for both in vivo, which is in humans, acute toxicity study, as well as behavioral uh, essays related to alcohol use disorder. Results of these studies are expected in quarter four of 2021. So uh, they're really, you know, addiction. It's, it's all over the place, right? And there's another one I read about with nicotine as well. Um, the Scientific Review Committee at the Center for Human Drug Research has conducted a, re a review and risk analysis of the clinical study with input from the Scientific Advice Board and has endorsed Entheon's clinical study protocol for submission to the Medical Ethics Committee. The company expects that its Phase 1 human trial will now begin in quarter 1 of 2022. So, Entheon, it is a, you know, newish company, right? Um, if a lot of these things work out, this can change a lot of lives and make a huge impact globally, right? Um, we shared the uh, how many people are addicted and how many people die every year and the, the big cost of mental disorders and addiction, right? So um, this could be something when we're always looking for, you know, investments, right? We want to see what the next thing is, right? And I think something like this that is targeting and making humans better uh, is probably something we need to look at. Uh, so keep it on your watch list. It's ticker symbol uh, on the Canadian Stock Exchange, ENBI. And in the U.S., you can find it over the counter on ENTBF. Now, currently, let's look at the Google Finance chart. And here we see it on the uh, U.S. market here. One month, it's up 133% already. Uh, if we go over to one year, it uh, is up still 25%. So it's trading at 51 cents right now. Uh, very small market cap. I did take a quick glance at the uh, financials. They have quite a bit of cash on hand. Um, but as a lot of you know, with biopharmaceuticals, uh, they need a lot of cash to develop a product and, and do the research and make sure it's safe for everybody. So um, it's something I'm going to put on my watch list. Maybe you should put it on yours. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a like, comment, share, and uh, subscribe and all that good stuff. Entheon Biomedical Corp. Put it on your watch list and uh, have a good one. Thanks. Bye-bye.